Robert Luperillo, House of Dark Shadows. It's Dream House King series. And the reason it's called the Dream House King series is because the family in the book are called the, the King fam. Their, their last name is the Kings. So they move into this big old creepy house in the wood that's perfect for creepy things to happen. They start remodeling and doing things. So there's an older brother, the middle brother, and the youngest daughter, and then the mom and dad. The little girl has a teddy bear, and she carries around the teddy bear with her everywhere, except the teddy bear is one that you can hold a button and it records sounds on it. So it's, she's always annoying the family by recording sounds on the teddy bear and playing it back to them. One night, they're all in bed and they hear her scream and they go to her room and there's nothing there. She says, there was this big giant man in the room and he tried to, to grab me. And they say, no, there's no man in the room. Then they take the bear and she hits playback on the bear and there's this like, other language voice coming from the bear so there obviously was a man in her room but they don't know where he went or where he came from and eventually they find in their house a hidden door and behind the hidden door is this staircase that goes up and around the corner and they find this long corridor type hallway with these weird eerie type lamps on the walls. And, but the hallway is kind of crooked and the hallway also feels like it's longer than their house is. It doesn't really fit in the house, but maybe it is part of the house. The hallway is lined with these doors. Inside each door is a little room. Then there's a door inside each room. Inside each room is a set of props or clothes that you're supposed to put on. Door will open and take you to another world. But it's usually some sort of dangerous world. In one room, you may find a fishing net, clothes to wear when you go to the ocean. And when you put them on, you go in the door and you're going to be eaten by sharks. And you may not make it back alive. But the next part of the hallway that you go to may have jungle hat and some jungle boots and like a machete. And you go through the door and you're in a jungle about to be eaten by lions. And you may or may not get back alive. Outside of the house is there's a strange man in the woods who keeps watching them. And fit footprints that appear in the dust like giant sized footprints. But they don't know where they're coming from. But I can't tell you anything else that's going to happen because you'll have to read the book.